Hello guys, today I will uh, show you how to install Biotime. Uh, Biotime is a software from ZKT. Most of the new devices now is used, uh, is uh, supported with the Biotime. So this is a good software from ZKT. So you can get this uh, file once you purchase the device. Inside the box is the device and a CD and some uh, uh, brochure so just copy uh, this file from to your computer then extract here I already extract so it will not take time so once you extract open the folder okay then run the setup yes remember it should be run as an administrator then okay the language is English start agree to the uh, agree then the location of the folder you can uh, if you want a specific location you can just browse but for me I will uh, select the default next the port is 80 this is the default you can also change this one make sure to remember the port next then post if you need another database so you can use ms sql mysql and oracle so just uh, connect to that uh, database then test connection but for now we will be using the default so pause then next and install this one will take time so let me pause the video while we are waiting So guys, now the installation is complete. So it's I recommend to rest, uh, to restart your computer, but for now I will not uh, restart. And here is the Biotime platform service console. You can check here. Uh, all of this Bio Apache should be okay. The proxy okay. BioCats okay, and BioServer is okay. Uh, if uh, some of this is not working you need to uh, check uh, your installation maybe there is some uh, problem so after this we can now open the biotime The default is admin and the password is admin. Now, so once you log in, it will requ require you to change the original password. So the original password is admin. Then I just put admin1234. Then again, password admin1234. The email, just input your uh, email address. Then confirm. Then password admin one two three four. Now oh, this is the software. Let me just uh, give you an overview of the. Uh, you know here personnel here you can view the employees the organization or the where you can create the department the employee so now we don't have an employee and here is the device as you can see uh, once we configure the device automatically automatically it will appear here I will show you that one later on and here is the attendance here you can create the timetable that uh, suit your company's uh, duty time, access control, and the payroll system and system. 
so now first we need to go to the device and go to the menu com or communication look for the cloud server setting or uh, web stuff once you go to the cloud server setting you need to input there the IP the IP address of your computer so this computer IP address the Ethernet my IP address here is 192.168.1.130 so this one you should uh, input this on the web uh, cloud server setting of your device once you do that one the device will appear also here and also remember that the port you should also input the port of the uh, this one the port is 127.0.0.1.80 as you can see it will not appear here because it is default but you can just think of it as like this so the port you need to set on your device should be 80 so once you see it here now we just need to add but before that, see if I edit. This one is very important. You should not add it direct because it will, the area will be not authorized. So you cannot use the device. So I recommend to add another area, new area. So let's say uh, authorize area. Then confirm. Then here we can now add it. Just uh, click the edit here, or you can paste this one device name, which is uh, put attendance. And now you need to transfer it to the authorized area. And you can select your uh, time zone. For us, it's plus three. And the attendance device, yes, it is attendance. And the transfer mode is real time. So once you swipe or uh, punch your finger on the device automatic it will transfer you then confirm so as you can see the state is ok uh, let me delete again So guys, I deleted so I can show you what happened if you didn't if you didn't create a new area. So let me add it again. See, not authorized. I will not select this one. I will select the default. So plus three. Confirm. You can see that the state is like this. Default area device that data will not transfer between system and device. So this device will not work. So that's that's why it's very important to create new area so let me transfer it to authorized area confirm here now it's okay so before that let me add the uh, one employee so we can check that everything is working so i go to the employee and go to the device menu user management new user employee id one then enroll fingerprint then i will send it okay. then i will try to punch Uh, guys it took some time but now the employee is here the employee id is one so let me just uh, put the first one 
uh, new use new and the last name is user it belongs to the authorized area here not authorized if you select not authorized this one will not uh, this user will not be working so confirm here and by the way i punch so you can uh, check here the transaction report transaction then i will select this employee confirm so here i punch 10 13. so our time is 10 16. so now we successfully added uh, one device on our uh, bio time so that's all guys uh, later on i will create on how to i will create a video on how to make a, a shift and assign the shift to employees